Hey, that's interesting. There's a hen knocker on this door. Ha 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 ha, a hen knocker. Hey, welcome to our scene on Henoch Shanline purpura, also known as immunoglobulin A vasculitis. So this is one of the small cell vasculitises. So what we have over here is this guy appreciating this hen knocker, the hen knock for a henoc, henoc shanline. And it says on top, welcome to the IgA vasculitis home. I don't know why it says this. I doubt the family's name is IgA vasculitis, but this is just to help us remember that Henoch Shanline is also known as immunoglobulin A vasculitis. And if you'll note, there's this small vessel over here, the small vessel to help us remember that this is one of the small vessel vasculitises. Before we go inside, we note that this guy has a urinary tract infection to help us remember that it often follows a urinary tract infection. Okay, now let's look inside. So here we have these three kids. Their names are I, G, and A. That works out well because this is known as IgA vasculitis. Well, anyway, these three guys are going to remind us of the triad seen in IgA vasculitis. I is going to be for irritating purpura. It's really annoying, right? It shows up on the buttocks and the legs, and it's really irritating. So I is going to be for irritating purpura. G is going to stand for GI, GI problems such as abdominal pain. This kid over here has abdominal pain. A is going to be for arthralgias. This guy has some joint pain over here. Last points we want to make is that immunoglobulin A vasculitis is associated with IgA nephropathy, known as Berger disease, and treatment is supportive care. It usually gets better on its own, and possibly corticosteroids. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on IgA vasculitis, Henoch Shenlai Purpura. Take care.